Hello there guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to Survival Russia, surprise surprise, we're gonna take a look at another outdoors, camping and work phone. It seems like the more of them I review, the more of them I get, but that's not a bad thing actually, because uh, the past few years I've been reviewing quite a lot of these uh, devices, so I have extensive experience with them, what they're good at and what they're not so good at and what they're, in my opinion, are meant for and blah 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 blah. This is the Fossibot F102 Pro. The previous one I reviewed was the F106 Pro, and even the F106 is called the F106. Then the, the F102 here is actually the big brother of the 106. So the F102 here is very, very similar to the F106, but, but, there's a big but. Big but? Yeah, okay. There's a big but <laughs> in this. This is a highly upgraded version, a much more powerful version. For you guys who are not familiar with me and the channel and all that good stuff, I've been living in this forest here for 10 years. I use these devices here a lot off and on camera. I would not say I rely on them because I would never rely 100% on an electronic device. But for not getting lost, for getting out of the forest, for getting to a point exactly where you've been a day or two days earlier or maybe you have some place you want to return to uh, because of you can put the waypoints on your maps and all that good stuff if you have a good app and so on right these devices they are simply invaluable and one awesome thing about this model here the f102 over the 106 is that this guy here has uh, 16,500 milliamp battery. It's a very, very powerful. So we will not run out of battery if we are in the forest and we're using it for offline navigation and we put it on aviation uh, regime or what we can say, right? You put it like you're in an airplane, right? There's a little airplane icon and then uh, the telephone will not uh, use a lot of battery to search for towers here and there. We of course have our orange fossil pod box as always put it here here we have the phone charger 33 watt super fast power charger it is uh, usb to usb so that is awesome here we have the phone it's quite beefy you can see we have a uh, aluminium frame here here we have the camp light it's 495 lumens just like the f106 but the shape of the camp light is a little bit different so when we have such a nice, functional and uh, strong camp light, like 495 lumens, then uh, it's of course, I mean, it's not really useful, you can say, to just have it hanging like this, right? Because it will turn around and tra -la -la -la. So I came up with a solution. As you can see, we have the phone here and uh, I do like this. It actually works pretty well. And then we hang it from a branch, just like from my hand, and uh, we can even uh, adjust. We can adjust the angle a little bit so it will can turn a little bit like this and that. So we have mounted our camping light up here. It's on full blast, 495 lumens, and uh, I have all the light here that I can dream about. I don't know how well it goes on the camera, but it should go on the camera. I mean, I can see everything I have in my pack, of course. We have a 108 megapixel camera here. We also have a 20 megapixel uh, night vision camera. Plus we have an infrared, uh, little infrared flashlight, of course. But the night vision is pretty decent, actually. Oh, I was obstructing it a little bit with my fingers, actually. It's now it's much better. Now it's much gooder. Whoa! And we have a normal flashlight, of course, as well. And we have also a 50 megapixel Sony cam, if I am correct. No, 32 megapixel Sony cam front cam here. One of the greater, bigger updates is the Helio G99 octa-core processor. This is a brand new processor. It's very, very powerful. It must be because uh, I have. I have only good things to say about the other Helio uh, octa-core processors. I think the, 
I think the one I am using is uh, G86 or something like this. I don't really remember, but it's also an octa-core processor. This is a 2.2 gigahertz processor. As you can see here, 16,500 milliamps, big battery. That's of course why the phone is a little bit on the large side. But of other features, it's dustproof, shockproof, waterproof. Oh, what we can say, resistant. It's shockproof, we can throw it around and all that good stuff. It is uh, IP68, IP68K rated for water. And uh, one awesome thing about it is you can film on the water, or record video on the water, of course. And we can use the camp light here as an underwater uh, light source, which is not bad at all. It's actually a pretty good idea. But its features here are not only outdoors related, I mean it has F NFC, near field communication, so we can use it uh, on the way to the wilderness if you don't live there already like me. Then we can use it on gas stations and shops for payment terminals and all that good stuff. It's Android 13, which uh, is a lot better than the Android 12 actually. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, bug fixes, uh, what we can say. Another really great feature here is that they have came up with a new SIM slot design. So we don't need we don't need a, a SIM tool any longer. That's pretty awesome. This of course waterproof. We just flip it out like this and uh, pull it out. It can flex a little bit, which is a good thing. And we have like a small uh, red O-ring here. Rubber ring. And of course, Google Pay and Play Store and everything. We have here, of course, not uh, set up yet, right? But uh, Play Store is already ready <laughs> with the updates. Uh, the camp light, what do we have? Camping light we have here. And this is a warning, do not shine in twice because it is really, really bright. So we just press yes, then we have an SOS. So we can make an SOS signal. We can cut that off. And we have what's called super, I don't know why it is cool, called super, it's sort of like just a strobe light. And then we have full, half and quarter. And up here we have the we have Nastroi uh, uh, Over here we have the adjustments for how long we want the camp light to burn. We can set it to 60 minutes maximum. And then we can just uh, turn it on again of course. But that's how that is. That is the camp light. Full, half and quarter. Just standard Android. You see system, system update, updated to Android 13, dual speed, glove mode, we can set it to glove mode if we want to, location, battery, there's a lot of sub settings in the, in the battery settings actually, but that you will have to figure out yourself. <laughs> So guys, if you are in the market for an outdoors electronic device, a uh, rocket phone, which you may believe maybe is because you are watching this video, then you should definitely go to the site and check out the full specs. There's also a brand new screen with a 120 hertz uh, frequency, update frequency and all that good stuff. There's too much to tell about actually for just making a short video about a phone for the guys of you who might be interested. So, there will be links in the description, there will be links in a pinned comment. So go and check them out and uh, until next time guys, get out and train, get it done, do something awesome and see you next video. Thank you very much for your time.